You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television for you, by you. What are you focusing on right now? Oh, the, the tree and the daffodils. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. One of our next themes is views of our islands. So I thought, hey, I might get a head start on that. I, I taught for 25 years and I found it hard to have the time and energy to paint. So since retirement more, which has been eight years, it keeps me sane. But that's debatable whether I am sane. But yeah, it it's a purpose. Um, that oh, I can paint today, right? Yes. And of course, meeting all these wonderful people has been like a real bonus. My brother came and he said, "Did you know about palette people?" And I said, "No." So, uh, so lucky. Eh? I used to be very passionate about painting but as I've gotten older I've gotten much more low-key about things so yeah if I feel like painting I paint if I don't I don't but they usually t well varies from 30 hours to 40 hours don't make money at painting that's for sure it relaxes me that's why I do it yeah, yeah it, that's totally and it takes your mind off all your worries and yeah. When I first started painting, I just I just fell in love with it because I'd lose the world, you know, um, just disappeared. And then three hours later, you'd look up, oh my God, where did the time go? Doesn't have a lot of tube. I'm gonna have to use something. So this, this, this is the first poem I ever learned in elementary school. Oh, wow. It's about the Pussy Willows. <laughs> and I'm sure it was, I'm sure everybody knows it. I know a little pussy, her coat is silver gray. She lives down in the meadow, not very far away. Although she is a pussy, she'll never be a cat, for she's a pussy willow. Now what do you think of that? <laughs> so Doug has spent all winter putting this book together of all his paintings and the history that goes along with them. So he's giving a talk this Thursday night at the golf club about his there's some about Gabriel, but most like I've worked all over the BC Coast, so. Queen Charlotte, some Pai de Gwai, and all over the place. I met, met many people. And the idea is like all the stories are being lost as people move on and pass on, so I'm just trying to preserve some. Healthy aging, I think connections to people for sure. Right? Do not be alone. And I mean, my husband is still alive, but I do worry about that. But I know I've got this real lovely connection here. Right? And everyone is so friendly and welcoming. It's really uh, a lovely community.